beautiful South Australia and look where I am. This is paradise to me on the Murray River. It is so peaceful here. You can hear the birds too, which I love. And I thought I'd do a beautiful lamb steak sandwich and I'm going to coat this in some mountain pepper. It's a little bit peppery, but it's really, really herbal and I love to use this. You can actually get it from a lot of your herb store, so keep an eye out for it. So first of all, I've got a pan on, nice and hot. A drizzle of olive oil on this beautiful backstrap. This lamb is so lean, so it's going to take not long at all to cook and we do need to season it with some salt, but we don't need the pepper for this. Just on both sides, like that. And now for the mountain pepper. So about a tablespoon. And what I love even more about it is it's native to Australia. Let's turn it over and add a little bit more on the other side. And I can smell it now, but once it hits that heat, it's gonna be beautiful. A good sizzle. And you can't have a steak sandwich without barbecued onions. I love this addition. And this can go in the pan at the same time as the lamb. Again, we need to season every element when it comes to cooking. So just separate them with your hands. So we get individual rings. Again, a little touch of olive oil, not too much. A touch of salt. And just with your hands, rub that so it's coated completely. And then that can go onto one side of the pan there. And they'll start to caramelise and go golden. Right, while that's happening, let's get on to the sauce. Again, onions we have to have in our steak sandwich and beetroot. But I'm going to put this into an aioli. It's going to be sensational. Into a mortar and pestle, I've got about two cloves of garlic there, a little bit of salt, and this is just going to help puree it. And then just bruise it until we get a fine paste. That's looking good. And now we can add the beetroot. Now, when you are cooking outdoors, sometimes you won't be able to steam or cook your beetroot. So I am allowing you to use some canned beetroot for this. This is just chopped and we're going to add it to the mortar and pestle and really zhuzh it up with that garlic and the mayonnaise that I'll be adding in a minute. Now, before I start pounding that, let's check out this lamb. Oh, and look at that. It's got that wonderful crust there from the salt and that mountain pepper. I can feel it, so crunchy. Turn around your onions, just toss them like this. They're getting a good colour on them. It's all about fast cooking, you see. Everything will come together within five and ten minutes. All right, let's get back to this. So being very careful, because you don't want to splatter the beetroot everywhere, press it down. You can see that it's just squashing there. The colour is going to be so vibrant. We'll get that bright purple colour of this beetroot mayonnaise. And you need it to be really saucy in the, the damper bread that we're going to be using. So squish that. Look at that. That colour is so appetising. And now we can add some yoghurt. I like the combination of yoghurt and mayonnaise. It really lightens the whole thing up. So a tablespoon of that in there. I'm just going to bring down the sides with my spoon and mix it up. I'm going to take this out because that's done the job and pounded all the ingredients. And now we'll add some whole egg mayonnaise. You can make it yourself, but when we're trying to get dinner done really fast, using a good quality one is totally allowed. And look at this. You can see when you marble that together, yum. So good. Beautiful pink colour there. And I need some lemon, so the zest of one lemon. Just get fine grater and grate that in there. I want a good hit of lemon for this. And I might even use some of the lemon juice. So let's cut that in half. And then a really good squeeze in there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna have a taste of this just to make sure that it's seasoned well. Whew. You can taste the garlic, the lemon, the sweetness of the beetroot, yum. A touch of salt, just a little bit, doesn't need too much. And that is ready to go. So let's put that to the side. We'll have a look at this lamb. It's almost cooked. When we're checking for the lamb, it just should have a light spring to it. I want it to be quite rare in the centre. So I'm gonna take that off now, actually, and rest. Resting is critical. If you want this to be a really juicy piece of meat, rest that for half the time. So if that was cooking for about four minutes, two minutes resting. I'm gonna keep cooking these onions until they're really caramelised and then we can start assembling our delicious 
Aussie style lamb steak sandwich. Smell of onions gets me every single time. See how they're golden brown? That's what we're looking for for the perfect caramelised onion. Heat can go off. I've got a big damper style baguette here. You can use whatever bread that you've got. I'm going to top and tail it. I'm going to open it up just with my serrated knife, not cutting all the way through. I would even take some of the inside out, just like this. And don't waste it. I put it in different things. You can actually add it to a soup. And now I'm going to add a generous amount of our beetroot aioli. If you wanted to be a little bit more health conscious, you could absolutely take out the mayonnaise and just use the yogurt. I actually like the speckles with the beetroot there. Great. Let's get some fresh rocket. Pop that in there. Some fresh tomato that I'm going to slice. Just a few pieces. And we'll just lay that in there. In and around that rocket. Oh, I still want to see that rocket. Wonderful. And our yummy onions, still hot. And now for the lamb. Let's slice and have a look how perfectly it's cooked. Now, steak sandwich, you need to make sure the meat is thinly sliced. So let's go on an angle. Look at that. Perfect, juicy. Look at that. That's exactly how I like it. I don't want it to be too rare when you're putting it into a steak sandwich because you don't want it to be bloody. So just like that is just spectacular. Let's not waste any of it. It's so tender. A few more slices. Lift that and then let's arrange it into our sandwich. A little bit more beetroot aioli on top. Let's get a big board to serve it on. And there you have it. The great steak sambo. It doesn't get any better than that. No fuss cooking. You can do this around a campfire. I promise all your guests or whoever you're camping with is going to love it. I'm gonna have to have a taste of this lamb. I can smell that mountain pepper. <laughs> it's incredible. That for me is the taste of Australia. Mm -hmm.